Dunk here, and I'm going to show you how to make sure that you are maximized so you get the most of this Gary airdrop every single month. And I know what you're about to say, it's not an airdrop, it's a claim, but you know what I mean. In case you didn't know, Gary has a DAO, and in that DAO there was a proposal that we would either use it or lose it for 250,000 Gary every single month, which means that we either hit certain metrics and get our airdrop or claim, or we burn it all. I don't know about you, but when a thriving crypto community burns their supply, that makes me super bullish. And before we get started, if you wouldn't mind just smashing that like button, it really does help the algorithm share these videos out with more people that need to learn how they can maximize their airdrops so they could earn more passive income with crypto. And if you do want to take the next step with me, just go and head over to DeFiEarner.com. It's where I'm going to share all of my best passive income with DeFi tips and tricks. So let me explain this proposal real quick. So there's just shy of 25 million Gary in existence, and the remaining Gary that hasn't been sent out into the world is controlled by the DAO. If you do not know what the Gary DAO is, you could just go to Gary.club. It'll bring you to this swap. You could buy a whole bunch of different coins at this exchange. And if you want, you could also connect your own wallet, but it does create a custodial wallet that you could use on platform. And this is the best place for you to go buy Dunk if you want to buy my utility token, and you can just grab that right here at this swap. And in order to get into the DAO, you just need to lock up at least one Gary. So buy at least one Gary, and then you could lock it up right here. If you lock it up for three or six months, you get different perks. Like three months, you get a 1.8 multiplier. And then if you do it for six months, you get a 3x multiplier. And what that means is it's going to give you locked Gary, which then you could deposit into the DAO, which gives you three times or 1.8 times the voting power. And then we get to make decisions like what I'm talking about with this 250,000 Gary every single month that's going to be given to the community. Or right here, we said use it or lose it or burn it. So the idea is if we hit these metrics each month, we are going to give these coins to everybody that qualifies for this drop. And if we don't hit these metrics, we will burn the 250,000 Gary. And when there's only 25 million Gary in existence, that means that if they get burned, there's never going to be any more. So if we burn 250,000, that means that we will be down 250,000 forever in the total supply of Gary. So I hope you can see why this makes me very bullish. These are metrics that everybody in the community needs to work towards, and it really does help making videos like this, letting people know about Gary. And if more people know about being qualified for these different drops, there is going to be more engagement in Gary, which means that more likely you are going to get the drop and it's not going to be burned. So if you go over to X or Twitter, let me know what it's called in the comments. I still don't know. Is it called Twitter or X? I know it's X, but you know, people still say Twitter. What is it? Let me know. So in the Draft Tower X, there is a video that was posted a few days ago talking about all of the different ways that you can make sure that you are maximized for this drop or claim. You can go ahead and watch this entire video, but I'm going to break it down for you so you could understand it very clearly. So here we have four metrics that you could use to maximize what percentage of the drop or how much of each drop you are going to get. We have bags, which is a community token within Draft Tower or Gary Club, and you can go buy that at Gary.club in that swap and it is just a regular token, it's not an NFT. Now, the next one is Draft Tower NFTs, and you can go buy those at any swap, just so you know these are all on Solana. The next one is OG Draft, that is part of the Draft Tower NFT collection, there's only a few of these, and they have a lot more weight and they're a lot more expensive. Then the next one is Stackers, and there's only 50 stackers in existence. And these actually are going to get art added to them. We just did a draft the other day and we picked what art we wanted if we owned one of these stackers. So the way that it works is that there's a certain amount of quantity and then there is a certain percentage of the drop that it calculates based off of what the floor is for that particular category. For instance, we have bags. If you wanted to add bags and qualify for this, you need to own at least 500 bags in order to have one seat in bags. And that's the way it works. So it's in increments of 500 coins that you own. So if you own 499, you won't qualify. If you own 501, you still qualify for just one. If you own 999, you still qualify for one. If you own a thousand, obviously you get two. So that makes sense on how you qualify for each set of bags. So there's 427 seats in bags that are taken. And based off of the floor price, meaning how much it would cost to buy 500 bags, and then the total value, you get a percentage, and that's the percentage of the 250 Gary, and that gets allocated. So each person gets 36.43. If the price of bags went up and this number went up, then each person would probably get a little bit more 
but that also depends on all the metrics of these other ones. So again, if you did want to go and grab bags, you would just go here, pick whichever coin you want to buy from, and then you would just pick bags on the bottom right here, bags, and then you would just buy 500 bags and you would qualify. Again, you could use your own wallet by connecting a wallet, or you could use your custodial wallet that comes with Dairy Club. Next two are part of the same collection. They are Draft and OG Draft, and you can grab Draft on Tenzer as well as Magic Eden. It does not matter where you buy them from as long as they end up in your wallet. And if you do have any of these NFTs listed, like the Draft, the OG Draft, or the Stacker, and they take a snapshot to see if you qualify for the claim, then you will not get your percentage because it's not in your wallet when it's listed. Each one of these Draft Tower NFTs counts equally towards how much you're gonna get in the claim. And remember that is based off of the floor price. So we have the Draft Tower, there's 7,577. There actually might be a few less of this because there is a burning mechanism going on with Draft, which also lowers the supply. So if you're bullish on projects that have burn mechanisms, Draft Tower and Gary Club has a lot of burn mechanisms that are coming up and that have been happening. So it's really cool to lower the supply. So it just shows the actual floor price in dollars and then what the total value is, and then you get a percentage, and then whatever amount you're gonna get. So each draft that you own in your wallet, at the time of this snapshot, it was 21.92 Gary that you're gonna get for every single one. So if somebody went right here and bought this one right here, where it says 0.62, now the new floor price would be 0.65, which makes the entire percentage of every single draft go up. But that also affects how much every single bags gets that affects how the ogs get that affects how much the stackers get because there's only going to be 250,000 gary given out in each snapshot so if a whole bunch of people bought this and it brought up the floor like to 0.78 it could potentially drastically increase the amount that each draft gets and pull from the other three categories and you can see that there is trading volume there are people buying the draft we had somebody 15 hours ago four hours ago another one four hours ago and it does not matter if you buy one of these rare ones or if you buy one off the floor you get an equal amount of claim based off of the snapshot now the next one is og draft and there's only 89 talking about burning mechanisms there used to be 100 now there's only 89 which means that they are even more valuable and there's less to compete with and they get their percentage based off of the floor meaning the minimum amount that you could sell one for and then they get their percentage of the drop and it's divided so every single og right now would get 711 again this might be out of date because this was from gary's video but every single time somebody buys or sells one of these it could affect the percentage that each category gets and again, you can go look at Tenzer or on Magic Eden or wherever you choose to buy this. If you wanted to buy it under the table, that's fine. Do it at your own risk. I don't give financial advice, but that is a little bit risky. Just do that at your own risk. But if you wanted to be one of those people with an OG, which is this white background like this, I could filter down to just the white backgrounds, which is our OGs. And there's two for sale right now. One is for sale for 45 Solana and one is for sale for 1,406 Solana. You can come over here to the side. You can see that not a lot of people let go of their OGs. If you know anything about how Solana moved over the last year, even though somebody bought one for significantly more about a year ago, Solana has shot up in price over the last year, which makes these actually worth about the same amount because some people are thinking about it in dollars. But hey, let's think about it in Seoul from now on. But if you wanted to qualify for that category, you would just need to go buy this one right here or this one if you wanted, but you'd buy 45 Solana and then you would buy this hat. But the thing is that the minimum floor price would then be 1,406 Solana. And that means that every single OG would drastically get a much higher floor because right now the cheapest one is 45 and the next thing you know, the cheapest one would be 1,406. What that would mean is it would drastically bump up this floor price, which means that the total value would go up and which means that the total allocation of Gary going out to OGs would go up just because somebody bought that one OGs. So if you wanna go buy that OG, you would definitely maximize this category. So we've gone through bags, draft and OGs. And then the last one is stackers. Before I jump into the stackers, if you get value from these videos and you want to help support me so I could actually make more of these videos for you, helping you learn different ways that you can make passive income with DeFi, finding drops like this and maximizing your claims, then I have a couple tip jars that I put into the description of this video on YouTube. You can go find that YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash at the blockchain and it's just in the description. Okay, so back to it. We're going to go look at the stacker and stacker. There's only 50 of them. 
The floor price is $300 at the time of this. I know this has gone up since then because somebody has purchased a stacker that was listed and now the total value is higher, but the percentage goes up and then the allocation goes up. And so for every stacker, everybody's gonna get about 141 Gary. Again, that's gonna shift. It's probably different by the time because this is from the video that Gary did. So at the time of this video, there are two stackers for sale. There's one for 33.15 and one for 56.25. And I've had a stacker since we minted them and there's a whole bunch of cool things. It was a way to help fund the community and help bring new people and bring liquidity into the community. It was a really cool funding mechanism and it's been giving back to me ever since I've gotten it. There's been so many cool perks that I've gotten with my stacker. And you can see three days ago, there was one sold for 10.33. And like I said, because somebody bought this 10.33 one, that raises the floor of the entire collection, which means that this category now qualifies for much larger percentage of the entire drop once the snapshot happens. So if you do want to qualify for this snapshot, as well as whatever other perks come with the stacker, because I could tell you there's been a lot of perks that I've gotten by owning a stacker. Then you just wanna go grab this one. You could just grab the one that is cheaper if you like, but also just keep in mind that in the next couple days, they are going to be adding art to the stackers. This is the art that I claimed for my stacker. I think it looks pretty cool. Hey, do me a favor, let me know in the comments, do you think that this is a hero? a villain or an anti-hero because the stackers are supposed to be heroes but i don't know this guy kind of looks like a somewhat of like an evil villain type character and i'm okay with that so now we've talked about how you could have the largest percentage of the snapshot on these gary club claims with bags draft og drafts and stackers i just wanted to remind you it's not guaranteed we have metrics that we need to hit every single month so if you are bullish on it and you want to make sure that we hit this metrics go and promote Gary, go and make videos. Like I'm making a video on Gary right now, and hopefully that helps educate somebody so they can learn more about the ecosystem. And I wanted to remind you that none of these drops are actually guaranteed. Even if your wallet is perfectly optimized, you stacked up your Gary Club and Draft Tower assets, and you are ready to go. If we don't hit these targets, including the trading volume targets, the liquidity targets, the FTMC targets, the Gary Lock target, then what will happen is nobody will get that drop and it will just be burned. Now, this is a good thing for Gary Coin as well, because if you burn some of the supply, you can't make any more. So once the treasury is depleted, and all of the Gary is in your hands, then it means that the value of Gary may very well go up. Again, not giving you financial advice, but that's the way I see it, and that's the reason I'm bullish on this. I love it when a project is bullish enough to say we will burn our supply if we can't give it to the right people. And let's be perfectly honest, if we're not hitting these metrics, we do not want those coins to go out. It's better that they get burned. And there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can go and support this. You can go and trade Gary. Maybe you want to day trade it. That would create trading volume. You could add liquidity to the liquidity pools as more people get involved our market cap goes up which increases this number and then we could lock more gary you can look right here how much gary we have locked three million one hundred and two thousand gary is locked and then there's also weighted locked which means they're voting power within the dow and this should be a really easy one to hit especially if a lot of people just end up taking some of the gary that they got in this claim and then locked it up so they could have a bigger vote in the dow Personally, I'm not gonna sell any of my Gary for a long time because I'm really bullish on this. Again, not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. It's not really that big of a jump from 3,102,000 to 3,111. So we would just need to get the additional Gary locked up from this number to this number to hit that metric. So if you want to maximize what you can claim in this drop and not have it all burned, then make sure that you are doing your part to make sure that we hit those metrics every single month so we can make that claim. I can't do it alone and I know you can't do it alone. We all have to do this together. Also, let me know what assets you have out of these four categories. Do you have bags? Do you have draft? Do you have an OG? Do you have a stacker? Let me know what you have in the comments of this video. Also, if you're trying to get my attention, the best way to do that is to jump into my Discord at dunkmedia.club. I do read every single YouTube comment, but if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, jump in there, leave a message. I'm very likely to see it and reply. And again, if you wanna learn more about how I've been making passive income with DeFi, just go to defiearner.com. I'm a very busy person. To me, there's one thing that I can never buy back and that's my time. So that's why passive income is so important to me. And DeFi is one of the best solutions I've ever found on my path to passive income and time freedom. 
And if you haven't yet, make sure that you smash that like button, ring that bell, and hit that subscribe button so you get notified when new videos like this go out. Make sure you drop a comment below. Keep creating, keep earning passive income with DeFi, and I will see you in the next video.